podcasts. Well, mm. you know, I don't know if I personally need to contribute to uh, Elon becoming the world's first trillionaire. I'm going to have to think on this one. Yeah. I would agree with that, Jim. So I, I don't go you. live. I don't go live on X just for that reason. Yeah, just something about saying, you know, I'm I'm going live on X, you know, just makes me feel like I'm making adult films, you know, Stan, <laughs> as as you do. So, uh, I've been I've been getting back in the swing, Stu. Just got back from a big conference all last week. Got a, a bunch of people I need to follow up with. It was a it was a very good experience. Uh, so well, let's talk about that experience because I always like to when I do put it this way when I do my conferences uh -huh. and you as well. I know um, I like to make sure that it's not just goes in one ear and out the other. Because I usually come back pretty jazzed from those. Like I've sure. learned something and I've, you know, tried out a new piece of equipment or, you know, done something. Made an investment, you know, in, in the business or even myself. And so I like to make sure that I start establishing some new habits that I learned. And you got to start with the next week. As soon as you're back, you start doing it. So let's talk a little bit about what you picked up and what you think that you're going to um, keep going, whether that is a relationship or a new idea or or anything. So I was at the uh, Go High Level Summit, and I was, uh, I was there for a bunch of reasons. One was kind of get immersed in their whole community and culture, which is really good. And it was also to make a bunch of contacts, meet people, you know, as you do. Um, it was funny because, well, and then the third reason was I was there to speak, to do a breakout session. So it's interesting how, you know, worlds collide and other things. And I ran into a bunch of people from the uh, ClickFunnels world. In fact, this one lady, I'm walking up to the hotel because I stayed in a block and a half away in another hotel, downtown Dallas. And I'm walking up. And this lady sees me and kind of, you know, I'm walking this way. And you know, when someone sees you and they're making a beeline, you know, they got that angle on you. And I'm like, okay, this is interesting. And she walks up to me and she's like, Jim Edwards, what are you doing here? And I'm like, dang, I haven't even checked in. <laughs> um, I'm here for the conference. Why are you here? I'm like, easy now. And. <laughs> It was funny, though, that she was just like, what are you doing here? Why are you here? And it was because they knew me from ClickFunnels World and other stuff like that. And it just, but then there were, it, it was just funny because I ended up actually eating breakfast with her and hanging out. and We were laughing and stuff. And, um, But it was, it was a really cool experience. The production value on it was off the chart. Um, the venue was a little smaller than, than, you know, the typical event like this, but it made it more intimate. It wasn't, you know, it didn't feel like a giant cattle call. So they had, you know, and, and they really took care of us too part of the I, I had a VIP plus pass because I was a speaker and so every meal was included breakfast Damn. lunch and dinner yeah um snacks they had parties every night which I didn't go to because I'm in bed asleep by 8 8 30 and there was an hour difference so by their eight o'clock was not my nine o'clock and at that point nine o'clock I'm catatonic yeah um but it was, you know, the networking was awesome. People were cool. They had vendor, you know, they had vendor booths and it was just, it was well organized. And the other thing was that the event was run by their team. They don't hire an outside promotion company. All the people who work at the company were the people that were greeting you at the door, that were 
getting you your swag bag that were getting you all your stuff and that was that was really cool that was a that was a real lesson in leadership too because huh. leadership flows from the top down and people in an organization don't act the way that they were acting without having really good leadership and really well-defined culture so that was a very good what's up vicky what's up mary um that that was a great lesson and then the way they had you know i said they had vendors and and you know the way that their ecosystem works that they they don't just sell directly to consumers but they also sell to agencies that white label their software so there are i met people that have three four five six thousand customers that think that they are and 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 they are but they they're reselling private labeling the go high level platform and they've got three four five six thousand customers of their own and so there's a whole ecosystem of people selling to the agencies and all this other stuff so that was pretty cool and i got i I'll, i'm gonna grab something over here um and you talk about really good marketing I, I was watching the way that the people were marketing to the marketers and how they were doing what they were doing and um i give a little shout out to a company called hl pro tools um they do all kinds of add-on stuff with uh with go high level anyway they gave me these and they did the same for all the other speakers but a custom pair of nike air force ones in oh. my in my colors but dude look at this on the side no wow Man. i mean dude come that's on good, that's some good branding yeah and they just gave those they just gave those to me and and to the other speakers with their stuff on it and i just thought that was just such a such a class i mean it was just it was just such a classy thing to do right and let me put these back to get them out of the way but so now i got like these shoes i can wear on stage forever um because that's the only place i'll wear them <laughs> but Dexter's been after me to get a pair of Jordans forever. Those aren't Jordans, uh, but um, anyway, that was the, the new Jordans. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. But um, so that was a really that was it was a really good experience. Now you know I've got like twenty people I got to follow up with. I'm in the process of following up with and trying to get stuff, um, you know, get demos scheduled and people that have audiences that we can help with copying content and other stuff like that. So explain to everybody, what is Go High Level? So it's basically an e-commerce platform. Okay. So they're, they're who we process, you know, they're, if you, when you go to copyandcontent.ai, we're using Go High Level as our, you know, as our funnel builder. Um, and so they, but they have all kinds of other features and stuff that are built into it, doing a bunch of stuff with AI um doing a bunch of stuff with just like a anything you could think of that you have to do inside of a sales funnel they're they're doing they've got okay. it built in or and there's this whole culture of people that make they have a really open ai and and or api rather i got yeah. open ai on the brain and open api that people develop apps that work with it that you know they're they're app people That's making cool. apps that that then the people using it can use the apps or the people who are reselling it can resell the apps mm. uh it's just it's just it's neat the way that they've got the thing set up so you know all the stuff that we do with funnels you can do in there i mean they've got the integrated learning platform and you know so if you want to host your your class and you want to put your stuff up there and protect it just just all that so it was it was really cool and my um my talk went really well um the title of my talk was your next million dollar offer and it was overbooked 
so that they had so many people. There were people standing in the back. There were people sitting on the floor up front. <laughs> Nice. And they they couldn't let anybody else in. I had a ton of people coming up to me saying, hey, I really wanted to come to see you talk, but they weren't letting anybody in. The fire marshal told them, you know, nobody else in that room. It was getting hot, too, boy. Woo! Yeah, it was getting warm. I, I, I was, you know, I was sweating up front and I, I, you know. Hey, did you practice that one with us in a previous podcast? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I thought we did. Yeah. Yeah. And then I did it at Maxwell and, uh, you know, a version of it at Maxwell. Yeah. And then I practiced this. I, I practiced it a bunch. Nice. So, um, yeah. So that went really well. And and then I really wanted, when I went to, uh, thank you, Paul. Um, and then one of the big, big things I wanted to do while I was in Dallas was have uh, beef ribs barbecue. Oh, yeah. And so the the go high level guys made sure that I got on the last day they they took me out for ribs at a really amazing place that was not cheap. Holy crap, dude! <laughs> like forty bucks for a rib. Oh damn! Oh, you but, hate rib? I get a yeah. rack of ribs for that. Well, but in Texas, yeah. man, beef ribs a little different. It was like a pot roast on the end of a giant dinosaur bone. I mean, oh, okay. it was gotcha. Gotcha. It was massive. And I mean, I got one rib. Yeah, just, just like a Fred Flintstone, you know, bam, bam, ah, I got bone on the end of that thing. So that was cool. So all in all, um, my flight got canceled on the way home. And so I was supposed to be home around five in the afternoon on Friday and didn't get home until 2 a.m. in the morning on Saturday, which kind of sucked. But. I made friends with people in the airport and sat there and actually got a bunch of work done. So there was a positive out of that too. So it's all attitude, Jim. It's all attitude. Absolutely. So, yeah. So the big thing now is just following up with people and making sure that we move stuff on down the trail. Um, are you finding a lot of people are, uh, former click funnels folks and now go high level folks? Um, there were a lot. Uh, there were absolutely a ton of people that were there who used to use ClickFunnels who now use Go High Level. Gotcha. Um, and there were a ton of people that I had never seen before. Um, but there were, I, I also had a number of people come up to me and share uh testimonials that were truly humbling nice um and particularly about the book about copywriting secrets i've, I've got to get copywriting secrets updated and redone uh because that just it, it, it i lost track and i was really you know excited to meet and talk to people but I had a I had a kid tell me, um, you know, that I that my book helped him make a couple hundred thousand dollars in one month. Damn. I had another guy tell me that. Um, let me see if I can upload one of them. Um, I had another guy come up and tell me that it had really changed his his life as far as his business and stuff and you know just people feeling compelled to to tell me those things was was really cool so um i'm actually gonna upload a couple of these and if i can show them and share them uh, i will but that was you know, and that's kind of one of the things I want to talk to you, uh, talk about today, because I know you're like, oh, okay, well, what, you know, what's the big thing you learned and, and some other yeah. things and things come full circle. Um, one thing, one of the things that one of the speakers talked about, and I think it was Ryan Dice talked about having uh, a central piece of content. He asked, he asked a question, which was basically the, the way they're setting up a lot of their marketing is what's the one piece of content 
that if people absorb it, they want to buy your product. And everyone's like, oh my God, that's amazing. It's going to, you know, it's life changing. Holy crap. You know, what's the thing? And I was actually thinking in terms of with, you know, and you're getting a little bit of a move your mic away just a little bit because oh, you're because you're sorry. you're breathing through your nose. Sounds like we're on a different kind of phone call. Um, so, and I started thinking about first. I was like, okay, what's a video that if everybody watched it, or what was a training or or whatever, and then it popped into my head. What's the one thing in my business consistently over the years? That if somebody absorbed it, they would buy my stuff. It starts with a B and ends with a hook. Book? Yeah. There you see. <laughs> I knew you could do it, man. <laughs> Thank you. That central piece of content, you know, it's like we we try and keep reinventing the wheel and other stuff like that. But it's 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 the book. It's if if you have a book and your book basically has you know your ideas and it helps people get a result and it's your stuff okay then your ideal customer the person who's going to resonate with you is going to resonate with that book and they're going to say hey that was amazing what else you got and and we can overcomplicate things is That's what true. I'm saying. Like, like the the original piece of core content that gives credibility, that tells your story, that draws people to you, that makes you <laughs> the attractive character. That's that's a book. It's kind of like my dad told me a story one time. He said that he and a buddy of his sat down and and figured out they were they working on a ranch and they were figuring out how they could have a power a, a portable power source that they could you know use to run winches and uh pumps and pull do, do all that other stuff and they sat there for like three hours inventing the tractor <laughs> <laughs> with a power takeoff he said the way he told it was funny though he said you know we were just man we just knew we were going to get rich and then we realized we had invented the tractor with a power takeoff and i think this is this is important to to remember that and and it, it, it's interesting that things come in and out of favor in the marketing world but both of us can trace our businesses as they exist today to a book and then a series of books that helped us to sell coaching, to help us to sell videos, to help us to sell consulting and all that other stuff. It all comes back to having a book. And we're going we're gonna to talk more about that in a second. But I'm going to see if I can share... one of these videos because I want you to I want to share one of these with you um hang on my my book's coming out I'm gonna have it done before the election oh nice does it yep. have is it has nothing to do with politics um but what I decided to do when I was kind of having a a writing block on uh -huh. uh, on the book is uh -huh. I I said I'm gonna set a due date with the election and what this did for me mm -hmm. and this was part of my reasoning was I need a distraction from all this election news uh, there's stupid and just get get on. away from all the polls and stupid stuff and uh, so I've just been focusing on this book and I've been crushing it and I'll, I'll actually finish today. And then I'm just going to go through some edits and it'll be up next week. Nice. Yes. All right. So I'm going to see if you can see this and see if you can hear it. Okay. Okay. So this is totally unsolicited. So reading copywriting secrets, I applied its principles in my first sales letter funnel 
and it made me $219,000 on my first month of launch. Absolutely amazing book. Highly recommend you read it and apply it. It is gold, straight gold. And he didn't even tell us his name or his website. <laughs> Ian, Ian Nelson, and uh, I'm with Mailbox Power. It's, mailbox uh, it's, Power. It's mailbox Power. Go to mailboxpower.com. Awesome. Could you hear that? Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, now check this one out too. Hey, hey DB Bedford here from Oakland, California. I'm an EI performance coach that's emotional intelligence. Just ran in the gym here over here at uh, Go High Level, and I had to stop him. He's in the middle of a conversation. I had to tap in and tell him his book, Copywriting Secrets. It changed not only the way I view uh, how to do sales copy, but the team that I lead. And so this brother right here, he knows exactly what he's doing, and he's very authentic, and it transfers right to any industry that you're in. So if you don't have copywriting secrets or any of his new software, stop what you're doing. Go get it right now, because I'm not just endorsing him just to be endorsing I stopped him, and I'm excited to do this because he knows exactly what he's doing. And in a world full of so much noise, and full gazing, it is hard to run across people who are authentic. And this gentleman right here is on point. My name is DB Bedford. Peace. Nice, dude. Look that at, was look. strong, right? That, that was excellent. <laughs> so it's like, dude, a book. It, it, you're looking for that impactful piece of content. The impactful piece of content is a book, right it's in front of your eyes. Yeah, we're reinventing the tractor. <laughs> And so that's, uh, that, that was a huge lesson out of this thing. And, and another big lesson is just pouring into people, mm. pouring, pouring into people. Like, I don't know if there's a shift going on, or maybe I'm just paying a little bit better attention, or maybe people have figured stuff out, but now There's so much call to action. There's so much push, push, push. People know that you've got something to sell. And that does and it don't. It's like those political headlines, man. I'm going to say something and now. Everybody's going to excuse me. Wow. Mm. It's Yerba Mate, man. It's loaded. Um, But what I'm so so don't go to the others. Jim Edwards says you don't need to do a call to action, blah, 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 blah. What I'm saying though, is that when you pour out the value, value is so scarce now compared to just the noise that if you pour value into people's lives, they will go out of their way to figure out what else have you got? Figure out how can I support this person? So that's another thing that we're gonna recommit to and you don't realize branding and other stuff like that. Dude, I can't tell you how many people ask me, hey, how are the chickens? Are you still doing the letting the chickens out with Jim? Dude, I haven't done a letting the chickens out with Jim video in huh. years. And we're down to four chickens. But so I've decided I've recommitted. I'm going to be doing a letting the chickens out with Jim video a couple of times a week, not every day like we used to, but like Mondays and Thursdays or something we're going to do, you know, and I've already recorded some and, and, and we're going to do that, but just pouring out the value people, people are drowning in, in information and noise and they're dying of thirst for somebody to just pour some value into them. So I think that's another big theme that came out of this, you know? Um, yeah. So anyway, why do I bring up the book thing? Well, Stu, did you know that next week we are doing something special for our copyingcontent.ai members? Did are you we, know that? Are we writing a book? Yes, we what are. What kind of book? <laughs> A good book, Stu. Cool. <laughs> so we we are synthesizing every single thing that I have learned about creating a book over the last almost 30 years, over 
over 30 years now. And we are reducing it down to an eight hour process. And this is not going to be regurgitated AI gobbledygook. Mm -hmm. This is going to be your content, your ideas, your stories. It's all going to come out of your head. It's just going to be accelerated by the AI and the genies. Nice. So it's not going to be what... <clears throat> other people are doing is basically turning out a giant hundred page listicle, which is really what 99% of what I've seen out there for book writing stuff is, but this is going to be your content, your ideas, your stories, your stuff. And I'm not charging for it. For anybody who's in copying content AI. So we're, it starts next Wednesday. It's going to be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a couple hours a day. Then you have the weekend and then Monday, Tuesday. So I'm also experimenting with that kind of being the, the format. So three days, then a weekend, then the, then two days. So that because the way we're going to do this, you, you can make the book as big or as little as you want. So I've got it situated that people who want to do a little bit more over the weekend can do a little bit more on the weekend, but you won't have to. And once you see the process, you're going to get super, super, super excited. Now, Stu actually, Stu knows what's up. What, do I, what, what are you saying? <laughs> Stu knows what's up. I'm just saying, you know what's up. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know what's up. So... Anyway, I, I, I am super excited about that. So if you're already a member of copying content at the elite level or above, uh, you have access to this. So that's going to be pretty cool. So I'm, I'm super, super. Mary says, yay, perfect timing for me. I'm so excited. I know C Ray is going to be there and us here. So it's going to be, I, I think it's going to change some people's lives and it has really actually taken some time to think and, and put all this stuff together and, and verify and validate. And it, it's bringing together really everything that I've done as far as book writing, but it's also bringing together all the discoveries that we've made about AI and using AI and, and doing all that stuff. It's, it's, this is, this is about as bleeding edge as you're ever going to get so far, but it's also going to be such a proven process that I can't wait to see what everybody does. Now I'm going to let the cat out of the bag just a little bit too. I am going to bribe people to finish. We'll mm. have all the details and stuff on that. One of the most coveted things we've ever done, Stu. I'm gonna grab. I gotta go back over to the closet here. I put my, uh, I put my shoes away. But one of the most coveted things we've ever done, Stu, is the "I'm an author" T-shirts. I'm grabbing it now so that, uh, or maybe it's not over here. Ah, crap! I ran my mouth. It's over at the other house. Um, so anyway, we're going to be anybody who gets their book done using this new method within a certain period of time, we'll lay out all the rules and stuff at the beginning. Anybody who gets their book done and published on Amazon by a certain time and gives us a video testimonial that they got it done, we'll get the coveted I'm an author t-shirt never sold only earned. Mm. It's kind of like those go ruck patches. You can't buy one, but yeah. you can earn one. And, um, but absolutely. You have to give us a video testimonial that you got your book done and show us that it's published up on Amazon. And then when I sell this thing and I use those testimonials, 
I will have a disclaimer on it that says these testimonials were compensated. <laughs> <laughs> They've been there, done that, and got the t-shirt. And if you'd like to get a t-shirt too, then go through the thing, get it done, and send us a testimonial, and we'll pay you with a t-shirt. There so you go. it'll be a fun thing to do. So yes, these will definitely have a disclaimer that they are compensated. Uh, and Vicky's already excited. Oh so yeah. I, I think it's, I, I'm telling you, dude, we were going through it. I'm, I'm, you know, I've, I've got everything all laid out, but you know, when you, you know, tidying up for a party, you know what you're doing, but then you got to set the tables out, set up the red solo cups, tap the keg, start cooking the pig, you know? <laughs> and uh, so I am just so excited to see everybody go through this and then, uh, really nail this because dude this is when i tell you you are making this is going to help you write your book it's it's not ai stuff it's it's ai tools to accelerate the process but it's going to be your ideas it's your it's your stuff somebody else could go through this process with the exact same topic with the exact same audience and would create a completely different book because it would be coming out of them so when you see this, this is this is this changes a lot, mm. actually. So I'm I'm super excited for that. So there you go. So anything else you've been using the uh, genies for? Only everything. I mean, I. <laughs> I mean, anything exciting? Like almost like not so much like for everything, but for. Anything specific you're working on, or maybe even a hack you might have discovered? Well, I mean, to I mean, just for this eight-hour book thing, I I used the event promo genie to write all the emails. There you go. Um, and I mean, it's and and I used it. I used it to create the landing page. And then uh, we we looked we took that landing page copy and created a hybrid sales letter. Now that we're gonna, you know, we're we're trying something a little different. We're gonna do a promo out to everybody who's on my list that is not a member of Copying Content yet, promoting the eight-hour book thing and saying it's free when you join Copying Content. So instead of selling that. It's like we're selling people on the bonus and we, you know, I use the genies to help me write the video sales letter. And then I've got the copy at the top. And then Susan and I went through and modified, you know, chopped a bunch of stuff off of the regular sales letter and, and Frankenstein together a, a new sales letter that I'm excited to see what kind of conversion and stuff we get on that. It's a lot shorter than what we normally have had. I'm, I'm curious to see. If there's enough awareness now that that'll, you know, that that'll work. Um, you want to hear what I've been using the genies for while you've been gone? Oh, and I did do some, I added something cool to the rewrite, recycle, repurpose genie. I did it this morning. You haven't even seen it, but I'll demo it for you if you want. I have used the rewrite genie this morning. You ain't seen what I did though. You did it <laughs> hiding in plain sight. But anyway, what you've been using well, it for? I've been using it for, you know, cause I write three to four articles a week. Right. Three, I usually write for military.com. And then one or sometimes two I'll write for myself and then send it out to a newsletter. And sometimes I just need topics. So I've been using the genie just to ask it a question right? about fitness that somebody had sent me. So I asked them, here's a question and here are five, you know, in the rewrite part, here are five um, ideas to consider. Mm-hmm. Right, because the reason why I'm doing it is I'm looking for that that one little area down at the bottom. One, a good hook, but two, down at the bottom where it gives you ten uh, relatable suggestions mm -hmm. for future topics. Mm -hmm. That has been gold. I do that hey. once a week, and then my whole week is basically pulling which one I want to do out of those ten. And it's it really has set it to a point where, where on Sunday, yeah, I know I'm supposed to be like chill out, but 
I got on a roll just testing it out, having fun. Yeah. I wound up writing all three of my articles on Sunday. Oh, wow. And I usually do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday routine for it. And now just got to edit them and send them out. But yeah, it was. That's very cool. So, yeah. you, so you just gave me an idea. I want to show you. I, I could show you a little thing that I did here. I'd Let me answer Anna's question real quick. How was your session at Go High Level? Um, it went great. Uh, it went so well that it was so packed that the fire marshal said nobody else in the room. It was, uh, you know, standing room only in the back and people sitting in the front, and it went great. So I, I couldn't have been happier with it. So thank and you. And you got asking. cool shoes. And I got amazing shoes. Um, and a big rib. And a, and a pot roast with a bone sticking out of it. It was, dude, it was, it was something, man. That Texas cooking. I like it. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm going to show you this real quick. So this is the rewrite, recycle, repurpose genie. And um, so I've been playing around with a new writing style that um, – and so what I did was I took a I, – I took one of the letting the chickens out with Jim videos that I'm doing, and I had it transcribed. And I just threw it in here, okay? Didn't I, – I didn't even check it. I mean, I don't care if – you know, it even says a thing up here, like, you know, Jim members here. <laughs> what? Jim Edwards here. Um, and I told the rewrite, recycle, repurpose genie, uh, what is this? It's a transcript of a YouTube video I made. What do I want to repurpose this as? A blog post article. How many summary bullets? So I want five. Then I loaded my um, avatar and my offer. Oh, by the way, duh. I, I added the ability to load the offer because I didn't have that on here. So now you can load your avatar, load your offer into this thing. Choose your rewrite variables. Friendly. I did friendly. This is the new one. This is the new thing, Stu. Mm -hmm. It used to just be BuzzFeed, but I added bottom line. Because I'm always saying, you know, bottom line. So this is getting to the bottom line of everything. Yep. And um, so concise, active, second person, American English. So I'm going to have it just rewrite it. And dude, this, as far as like for the high D's out there, this, this is like, I mean, you talk about boiling it down. So uh, let's get straight to big idea. Headlines are the key to effective copyright. First, you understand Eugene. So I was talking about a lesson I learned from Eugene Schwartz and I'm rewrite, rereading the book, uh, Breakthrough Advertising. But dude, this thing, this thing reads mint. This is this is amazing how this just boils stuff down. And I modeled it after a bottom line reports. You remember the bottom line reports that used yeah. to be real big? Yeah, that that's that's what I modeled it after. Um, but then we can do uh hooks, um, and then bullets. Do bullets of the rewritten stuff. What's up, Carl? So anyway, um, that's the new thing. But I this analysis, um, let's get opinions, transform the first sentence hook. And then the thing you're talking about here is the related topics. Yes. Which, quite frankly, I don't use that enough. And I really should. Yeah. You know? Here, let me. Here, Stu, let me enlarge that for there you. There you go. It, it pains me to see you putting on your, your glasses like that and then getting a freeze, you know, getting burned up on the thing. Um, so art of crafting irresistible headlines, understanding audiences' desires, emotional triggers, case studies, SEO impact of headlines. That's interesting. Transforming is this big ideas, overcoming compromise, urgency and scarcity, compelling calls to action. Ooh, this is good. Revisiting old marketing strategies. Ah. I like that because yeah. that was one of the things that I talked about in the video was um, everybody's so busy looking for the next new thing that maybe the oh. next new thing is relearning something that you forgot that's proven to work. And the big idea out of that was, you know, talking about 
headlines. I, I had forgotten in that book, dude spends half the book just talking about headlines. The first half of the book is all about headlines, making headlines better. Wow. And then the big thing was sometimes you try and cram so many thoughts into a headline, you're screwing yourself. And his big thing was like the headlines, like one big thought. It's the big thought that starts the conversation. It's and it's that that thought that you use, it has to be urgent. It has to be universal for your audience. And it has to be readily understood. If if you if you don't have that, you're screwing yourself. And th that I needed that reminder. <clears throat> so there you go. Nice. So Mary asked, "What time of day is the book class going to be?" Let me just double check this. But it is going to be from two to four. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then um, Monday, Tuesday. So it's it's going to be two to four. A lot of it is going to be real time doing it. So it, it's going to be kind of like a little bit of master class, then some sprint, and then a little bit of Q&A, and then you're done. So you know that but my objective is especially once you've been through it that you would be able to take that process and in a, in a saturday be able to produce a nice little book that really is it's done it's good and if as big as you want to make it it's just how much filling do you want to put in the middle how many layers do you want to put in the cake but to create a, a nice smaller but a nice real book that's your content, your ideas, your stories, all your own stuff in there um, and be able to do it in a Saturday. So that's the, that's the th thought process behind it. So it's going to be, it's going to be cool. Yeah. I love that. So, yeah. So let's look any other comments that we got. Any questions? Uh, Anna says, will copy and content members still have access to the Genius After the Book Writing Challenge? It's it's a sprint this time, Anna. And yes, as long as you're a member, you will retain access to it. Uh, no worries. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, the dates are next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So what's that? Six, seven, eight. And then Monday, Tuesday, so that's eleven twelve. So that's gonna. This is kind of my. Whoop. Where'd you Sorry, go? Push the wrong button. I was <laughs> looking at my schedule. So um, this is kind of my end of year gift for everybody in copying content as well. I, I could easily have charged a couple hundred, 300 bucks for this and may, <laughs> but this is kind of your end of year. Thank you for being a, a member. So if you're not a member yet, you really should go join because unlike sports illustrated, when you signed up in the past, you know, you got the football phone and all the existing customers didn't get the football phone. Everybody gets the football phone when you join copying content, by the way, there is no football phone. That was a <laughs> metaphor. Okay. So for some of the guy who like goes in the help desk and says, where's my football phone? I don't know. eBay, but, uh, join and it's going to be amazing the only thing i ask is that you do it that would be the biggest thing just do it and i'm going to bribe you to do it with the greatest gift of all two greatest gifts of all one you can have a book done published and use it to start growing your business and use as the centerpiece of your business your core content the thing that if everybody read it they'd want to do business with you buy your stuff sign up for your coaching but you're also going to get the exclusive I'm an author t-shirt. All right. I'm an author. Cannot be bought, can only be earned. 
I will tell you, if you are outside the U.S., it may be like a slow boat to China getting to you, but it'll get to you at some point. But the people who get that T-shirt are the ones who go through the process, get their book done and published by a specific date. We'll let you know. But for crying out loud, you're going to be doing it in real time. If you do it along with me, you're going to watch me do the process and end up publishing a book. Get something out of it. The only other thing is you got to publish your book on Amazon and you got to give us a video testimonial. Yes, that does for the purists out there, for all the C's in the disc spectrum, like, well, that should be labeled as a as a compensated testimonial. It will be labeled as a compensated testimonial in such a way. That just like our guarantees make people want to buy our stuff, our testimonials will make people want to buy our stuff. Because I'm going to tell them all these people got a t-shirt for giving me a testimonial. You want a t-shirt? You want a book? <laughs> Do it, you know? <laughs> Come on, man. Lighten up, people. Yes. What are you popping pills over there? What are you doing? No, just my, uh, my gummy vitamins. Uh-huh. With the THC in them. No, this is uh, zinc. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Uh, yeah, of course. And Susan says, and there will be a time limit on t-shirt out of fairness to get those who did it in time. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. We'll, we'll, we'll fill in all those details. I'm selling the tra the destination, not the travel right now. All right. I want you to imagine your book being done. This is going to be the easiest, fastest, way you're ever going to do it. I honestly cannot conceive of another way of doing this short of sticking a coax cable up your nose and jamming it into your brain. I cannot conceive of a faster way of creating your book because the thing is, like I said, this process, it's going to be your ideas, your stories, your stuff. It ain't AI generated stuff. The AI in this whole process is a, an accelerant. Okay, the content in this book, it's your stuff, 100% guaranteed, 100%. So there you go. All right, well, that's all I got, Stu. Anything else you can think of? No, I love it when you come back from a trip and you're all fired up. That's right. Th this is probably shoes. one of the neatest one I've, I've heard, you know, about, um, about just how to put on a conference. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, that, that seems like the way to do it. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. Well, bottom line, if you're not a copyandcontent.ai member, you should be. Not only will it help you write all your copy, create all your content, and just all around be more amazing as a human being, but sign up now. You get a free ticket to the eight-hour book sprint. Can't go wrong. I'm Jim Edwards. I'm Stu Smith. And we'll see you next time on the copyandcontent.ai report. Bye-bye, everybody. <clears throat>